for tuning out of time. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to everybody to Fate of Eisen. Welcome back to book two. Puka puka rua. Uh, to uh, reference um, our Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori that we had recently uh, in 2024. Of course, this week isn't Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori. That was last week. This week is Mental Health Awareness Week. Very important to be taking care of your own mind and well-being out there, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so speaking of that, I hope that you're here for a lovely chill time to have a nice well-being chat and listen to a bunch of D&D 5th edition craziness made by a bunch of Kiwi comedians, proud members, of course, of Kiwi RPG, Kimu Fakatao o Aotearoa, tabletop role-playing from New Zealand. We kōrero paki, we tell some jokes, hopefully save the world and have a whole lot of fun along the way. Again, thank you for joining us today. If it is your first time visiting Aizen, welcome along. And for all of our fadies who are coming home, and I see in the chat already, um, welcome back. It is so good to see you again. Uh, we're very excited to be up here in the sky for Puka Puka Rua, and I have a wonderful cast of heroes to help me discover this new realm. So, without any further ado, let's throw it over and meet the sidebars. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Jules Daniel and I'm playing Bradley Bartley, kind of a bard, kind of in the name, name of the game, being a bard in D&D. Wee woo, we have fun here. Um, yeah, I think that's me. I'll pass on to Severin. <laughs> Happy mental like, health, mental health. <laughs> one of the like middle manager kind of parlance is we have fun here. Get out of everybody. We, you know, we do have fun here. We uh, do have my name's fun Severin. here. <laughs> I'm playing uh, Dexter Clementine, having fun here. He's a bit of a monk, a bit of a punchy boy. And yeah, happy Mental Health Awareness Week. Look after your noggin. Over to you, Erica. Oh, hey, I'm back. Um, I'm Erica, <laughs> and I play Taryn Grimm. And I leveled up in real life over the weekend, and I need an adult more than ever. Over to you, Jules. Yeah, you did, and you came to a party at my house, and you didn't even mention it was your birthday. <laughs> it wasn't my party. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you got away with that. I so would have found a way to get you a cake somehow. Somehow. I would have done uh, that. Fadies who were at my house in the weekend. Erica's birthday. My goodness. Rude. Anyway. And it was JD, JD's earlier too. <laughs> that September is true. Babies. Yeah, I'm 30 now. 30, yeah. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, yeah. Virgo. Yeah, you guys are so young. Oh, 30 was 11 years ago. <laughs> That's not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but hello, everybody, and I will be your dungeon master, Julia Bergeser, or Jules from NZ on most of the socials. So I'm very excited. We have a cool story to tell. Um, so I think we're just, you know, we're just going to get into it. Uh, where did we leave our sidebars last time? Well, we left our sidebars sort of walking out of a, a, a confusing time in a costume store um, where Dexter seemed to be uh, getting some outfits and additional something, emotional connection maybe? Not really sure what was going on there in the in the costume cave there. Uh, the tabloids with, are talking about it. <laughs> with, with Zephyra, the tabloids are talking. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. But um, I think our sidebars learnt quite a lot of information in our last episode after talking to Alwyn Windwisk of the Puff Pastry Patisserie um, and then uh, going for a wander through town. We learnt a lot of facts and we spent a lot of time eating amazing cupcakes and various bread-based yumminess. Um, and we have secured probably our first proper magic item of the sidebars. Very exciting. They spent a lot of money. Um, so having done all of that, uh, they're probably quite tired. <laughs> And heading to the only place apparently in town for those from the earth to sleep, um, which is an interesting concept, of course, but to only have one place. But in um, interesting, yeah, we do know that that one place is called <laughs> the Without Wings, and that is where we find our sidebars heading to as they exit the store find themselves back in the busy square. How are our sidebars after visiting? You know, what, what's 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 going on in their brains? What's their focuses at the moment? Yeah, I guess I guess accommodation is the very next thought. Especially if we're sleepy. 
but mm. it's uh, it's whether or not we want to actually uh, alert the authorities, as it were, to our <laughs> us being here and limit our time in the sky world. Yeah, and as we found out last time, you do know that as soon as you check into the accommodation, you kind of have to declare how many days you're going to be here and, you know, book accommodation for that time. And, and we've some already kind of seen posters system. with mm. our faces on them. Uh, Absolutely. So potentially if we check in somewhere, then they will check us into a jail. Yeah, yeah. And Dexter, while well, Dexter did buy a very nice disguisey outfit um it does only seem to do one person at a time so that does so leave we can't Granny. three kids in a trench coat it <laughs> just yeah, one long saying. boy <laughs> no, just a no. long boy on the town <laughs> so that does leave that granny and bardley uh needing to find some other way to make sure that they're not instantly discovered um and of course darren and as you think about yeah and darren um you see Taryn sort of walking across the square, kind of looking everywhere, um, trying to find the rest of the party, having come from down the road, the same road that you walked to get to the square. Yeah. I'm holding a wanted poster with our bases on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just What's waving it. Has hey. anyone seen these people? <laughs> Have you seen these people? My friends. I'm in disguise, it's fine. <laughs> My best friends, and also that's me right there on the poster yeah, next yeah. to them. They got my nose right in this one. It's fine. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Finally. Here we are. <laughs> hey, everybody. Everybody says hi. Uh, Dex is going to do the traditional sky greeting of hand. I, hand facing I do it outward in a... on forehead for those who are Taran listening does it in an audio media. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Military for Taran. <laughs> if you're listening to I do podcast, it, but I'm more casual stop. and cool about it. <laughs> yeah. No, don't the live stop. Stream. <laughs> stop and tune into the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> what about and <laughs> listen to the podcast and listen to the what about, start live stream? What about you get yes more? And. Yes, it'd be and. pretty. It'd be pretty no. rare they were actually able to stop listening to the podcast and tune in to the live stream. I mean, that what, yeah. the timing on that. <laughs> mutually stop explicit. listening to this previous episode that will be an episode by the time you hear this and tune in to the live <laughs> podcast that will be a different episode that will be on a Wednesday. Probably yeah. the following week after this one comes out. Yeah, what you want to do? At all. <laughs> tune into the live stream and then listen to no. last week's episode while you're tuning into the live stream and have a mental breakdown. I do like because that they, two lots if voices. they tuned into the live stream right now, they'd just be hearing us talk about the podcast, and that's just kind of anyway. Let's move but, on. But the beauty of a podcast <laughs> is that you can go back and listen to it again. So, what did you guys get up to? <laughs> I, man- I managed to help fix um, Jaunty Tune's sail, and I sort of like spark my fingers with um, lightning as if I have been soldering whatever metal is there <laughs> together. Oh, that's I fun. go, Dexter's in love. Shut up. Ooh, shut, who, shut up, who's the lucky? Who's the lucky air person? <laughs> <laughs> or persons. Or persons. Oh, <laughs> getting, getting spicy up in the sky. I it was your own just- <laughs> trying to get us a good deal on some disguises. Like, it's, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing. There's no spark. And it points to your hands. <laughs> Sparks. <laughs> there could be. I can help. I don't know. It's, like, it's very... We haven't put a label on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, new clothes. What label's on it? <laughs> Do you remember her name? I mean, what's it a name, Bart? <laughs> <laughs> Is it not mm. the content of someone's character? Do you think Dexter would remember her name? I think Dex is very tired. Uh, I think maybe. <laughs> no, no, that's what I mean. Like, do you think Dex would Rachel. remember her name? Because it has only been mere minutes. <laughs> oh, that's very true. Uh, I feel like Dex would. Though yeah, he was so like, her... a little bit flustered at the moment. So yeah, his her name's Zephra. Zephra Skydrake. I mean, Zephra Skydrake. If you have to know. But again, Ooh. that's not important. It's like who the person. Don't you owe me? <laughs> I dare you. I'm, I'm going to the birds and looking her up on the tweets. <laughs> Or whatever they do in the Sky City. Go talk to your stinking birds and go to the inn. Me. Are you guys have found somewhere to sleep? Oh yes, there is. One inn for non-winged people. And we are heading there. But it does lead to the conundrum of that's less time we spent in the city because we've got to tell them. It's very, like, policed. It's no good. Here's my question. Did Jaunty fly off in the flywag now that it's fixed? Or is he still hanging around? 
He did fly off as soon as it was fixed. Typical. Yeah. You just see him I in know, the distance. Yeah, help one person. He will be back. <laughs> he did tell Taran, like, he does regular traps, so it's yeah, likely yeah, yeah. you'll see him again. Yeah. But we can't crash overnight in his flywag, because no. <laughs> he's not around. Although, there, there could be... I wonder if there's any abandoned houses we could squat in in the Sky, sky City. <laughs> I mean, entirely sky, possible, actually. It's, it is quite a large city. In fact, Jules is actually working on a little incarnate map so that we can Ooh. show the audience what, how Sky is. Ooh. But it's so many buildings in it, it's taking me a while <laughs> to, <laughs> to do. Um, yeah, it is quite a large. And there are, like, sections from even where you see from the square where you're in, a little fountain in the middle and markets and stalls and things set up. Um there's lots of alleyways that kind of come off and go to different places and there's little signage up to, you know, show different locations. But they do seem to be, like, more narrow and clearly not touristy. They're probably, like, residential locations and things like that. So, yeah, most of this particular area is set up for tourists from different places to come and hang out. Breaking and entering I mean, anyone? It could be an option. I mean, it means we get to stay here a bit longer. And look, I don't need... Like anything fancy to kind of sleep on, I could just curl up in the corner. Curl up in your fancy robes. Similar to a pet. Yeah, roll me a perception check as you're like looking around and kind of eyeing up some of these like alleyways that lead off to different areas from this main square. I love them. We are already hardened criminals, so you know. Mm -hmm. It's true. Do you want to be here? (laughs) Uh, We're already on wanted posters here. You are on wanted posters. 19 from me. (laughs) Nice. You are unwanted posters from Earth. So they may not hold as much value up here. Correct. Mm. You you haven't really ascertained what that means here. Children's colouring pages. I saw a young girl called um, Connie who was holding this. Well, actually, yeah, I took it off her. She didn't need it, but it looked pretty cool. Wait, she found another one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, you, you know this kid? Incorrigible. Small, um, kind of like chubby cheeks. She was really cute. Yes. Look, I don't like the idea of people having wanted posters of us, so I may or may not have taken it off the child, froze it, and then and shattered it, it into pieces. And then child started crying, which who could have predicted that? It's like a I... whole thing. I mean, it makes a nice coloring book page. Like, if you want to just relax and find some pigments somewhere. I think we should collect one, and then we could sign it, and then when we're famous heroes, we can sell it for gold. Or when I'm a famous musician, you guys can be like, hey, look, we hang out with you. Do we sign it too? It feels weird to sign it if you're the musician. You're right. I'll, I'll sign it. <laughs> 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 and I'll, I'll, just, I'll just cross off your faces because it's not even relevant, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's redact. <laughs> redact your party. <laughs> As you're looking around for somewhere to kind of press this up against, there is a convenient uh, notice board standing nearby with different posters and stuff on it. Um, You know, and so you sort of press up against this notice board as you, like, cross out their other faces and then sign um, your signature underneath yours. Um, Wait. I think I have more more do little, like, faces on them, you know? Like, not completely scribble out their face, because that seems hateful. Um, Mm -hmm. But maybe draw a moustache and, like, a a, a pirate eye patch. Lock out a tooth. Absolutely. And so you pull this poster away, like, after you, you know, sort of looking, marvelling at your work a little bit. My art. Yeah. Um, (laughs) And uh, behind this poster is another poster exactly the same. No, I'm kidding. I'm... (laughs) (laughs) And then behind that is another one. (laughs) And then another one. (laughs) That'd be funny, but it's not true. Um, You actually see a poster which catches your eye. It's quite um, beautifully designed and it's sort of calling uh, the creative souls of the sky. And as like those words particularly catch your attention and you're like, oh, what's this? As you're sort of, Mm -hmm. you know, finished marveling at your work. And you see a poster which reads, Sky Kingdom Fashion Challenge, a tribute to Eriseth. Calling all creative souls of the sky in celebration of the great Eriseth, the air elemental who shaped mm. our floating city, we invite you to take part in a one-of-a-kind fashion challenge. 
Design an outfit using materials from the worlds around us. Cloud silk, storm feathers, sky minerals, and so much more. Let the skies inspire your creativity as we honour Osiris' legacy of turning air and matter into something extraordinary. Join us in celebrating your history through fashion and showcase your work at the grand event. Whether you're a seasoned tailor or a first-time designer, let your chance be the winds of creativity carry you. And the winner of this challenge will be invited to the palace to showcase their design to the ruler on high himself. Date tomorrow, 5 p.m. It just says tomorrow. Location. <laughs> Sky <Date> drape. Tomorrow. <laughs> Location. Sky drape silks as part of Orally Sky Drape's latest collection reveal. Sign up now. Let's craft the skies into wearable art. I was going to say, wow. it's road of wearable clouds. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's wow. so cool. Wow. Clouds of wearable art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, no, we're not crafting the skies. Cow. Right? It's it's clearly <laughs> quite different. <laughs> yeah, legally distinct. I think. Yeah. 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 And and uh, parody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it, like you've already heard of Orly Skydrape. That's Zephyr's sister. Well, you have and to hear about some, it orally. Yeah. Um. She. <laughs> she. Hey <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Sorry. <laughs> um, she, uh, our, uh, Zephyr told you she has like a really high end fashion designer y store. Um, yeah, didn't That's true. So we have an end. Was... Yeah. Yeah. So um, it looks like um, you also do need to get in front of people for reasons I remember mm-hmm. you came here for. So, I mean, this could be a good in to do so i don't know make our cultural mark make the sky people love us and then we can make them go to war with the land people no <laughs> this is dix is going to take the poster yeah you can take the poster they could advocate if if we make good amends with the culture up here instead of being criminals we could maybe have people on our side because the sea people like us i look at that's true yeah <laughs> so. you guys are pretty good <laughs> <laughs> no, so we not could... bad need all the help you can get but not bad yeah 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 um, so if we had sky people and sea people and maybe a third unseen option, then the people people, no, that seems wrong. The ground people, they need to, they'll have to pay attention. It's a three-way handshake. The earth people? The, the dirty, the common, grounds. low folk. <laughs> the eisen <laughs> continenters? I don't know, yeah. how, do you, how do you say that? The Eisenite? worlders. Eisenites, yeah. <laughs> Eisenhers. Hey, yeah. Eisner. Brad? Get away. Eisish. Eisish. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah, it's it's true. This might be a good way for you to make some friends and kind of showcase the cool things that you can do. Um, yeah. They will be artists, though. So. It does look like school. it's kind of inviting. I yeah, yeah, everybody to participate it looks like it's just sign up on the day too so you could probably just rock up to um the um sky drape silks which is her store and just enter your com- your your what do you call that your um outfit yeah your garment a submission show. yeah submission yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you that's, that's right. great work uh, our entry submission yeah. probably okay so the movers we we would have to source and make it tonight though yeah, it looks like you've got until 5 p.m. tomorrow. So you've got maybe tonight and a bit of tomorrow. You just, know. So we can just... do it during the day. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm totally> <laughs> <laughs> we do it right before we enter and then we, we make it there, right? Um, can I just also say another pun? This is high fashion. This hey, is, hey. This high, is fashion. high fashion. Which this I assumed was fashion. intentional. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's giving attitude. It's giving altitude. <laughs> <laughs> There's elevation oh. going on here with the garments. <laughs> it's an nice. airy material. Okay, wait. Okay, so <laughs> I would like to roll. Okay. <laughs> for the possibility for of yeah, reaching roll. into my bag of holding and pulling uh-huh. out some kind of fabric that we could use for it. Okay. Just something pre glittered. 
Yeah, you do I, know really that it. the bag of holding. <laughs> it's full of stuff. It's full of stuff, right? Yeah. Like you, you know that you poured it like pre-filled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we poured a bunch of things out of it. A while yeah, ago, and you didn't so. even really like finish pouring. You had to be like, "Well, stop, 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 stop." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume there's like materials that we might be able to use in there. So yeah, I, yeah. I'm so what are you like, thinking what? about as you're like reaching in there, particularly? Like, what are you hoping to kind of pull something out? Like, is there a theme <laughs> for the show? Yeah, it didn't really seem to say it was. Well, I mean, other than it was in celebration of Eris, of the air, you know, elemental. Mm. Yeah, because it's his legacy of turning air and matter into something extraordinary. So it's really a celebration of how Sky came to be, like the literal Sky Kingdom you're in. What I really want in my heart of hearts, as I'm reaching into the bag, is I would love something that resembles a kind of tool. That's T U L E, I think is oh, how yes. you spell it. Tool. Yeah, L E. Yes, like <laughs> just explaining LA. for Severin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is a type of fabric that w- they make tutus out of and stuff, right? That like fluffs Ooh, up. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I want like that. Knitting? Yeah, like a yeah. Cu- well, kind of like a knitting, mm. but I want it to be like fluffier and more comfortable to touch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Like I- I'm, I'm going you. for cloud energy. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah. Roll, Airy, roll it light up material. as you are thinking about this. Give me just a... Oh, goodness. What would this be? I mean, this would be a bag check. <laughs> I mean, it is <laughs> a bag check. <laughs> Sleight of hand. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Sleight of hand works. Sure. Great. That is an unnatural 23. Oh, nice. Okay. So as you think about what you want to bring into being, you pull out this fabric. It does seem like it's already kind of made into a garment but that would be all like pretty easy to unpick and make it into what you want because this thing is huge um Mm -hmm. the 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 leg holes um of this particular outfit are massive they're like tree trunk size and there seems to be four of them plus this giant hole which is bigger than like all of you put together at one end of this thing and then just like a tiny little hole at one end that like you could just put a couple of fingers through. You're very confused as to what this was for, but it seems to be enough fabric of exactly what you're looking for to be like, okay, well. Why I am I I'll... visualizing an elephant nappy? Because I was thinking of an elephant <laughs> when I made it. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mind yeah, freak. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like literally like a ballerina tutu made for an elephant. All Great. fluffy and beautiful and chill and yeah. Move over yeah, Chris Angel. Like, I'm the new yeah, mind no, freak reading it. minds. <laughs> we, did <it. laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, get cool. Yeah, yeah, get mind freaked. Um Yeah, so like what? <laughs> four four to eight meters probably of material, of usable material maybe. Yeah, like like lots, you know, mm. like you've definitely got enough of this stuff to yeah. Okay. And also from experience, the green glitter of the bag is not toxic to skin. <laughs> no, Was it green? No. Only green? Uh, no, it's not always green either. Um, oh, geez. Well, yeah, <laughs> actually, roll me a d6. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay, okay. Uh, I nearly forgot about the glitter. So sad. Glitter. Would have been so sad. D6 roll. Oh, no. Five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Purple. It's purple. Yes. Yes. That's a look. The best color. I think that, yeah, that looks really nice with the white. <laughs> I'm assuming from the tooly type material. Yeah, sure. I think it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of, uh, of clouds when they're watery, when they're ready to rain. And what type of dewful. rain? Um... We Any rain some... that can be <laughs> arranged. Yeah. So as you like are pulling this, you know, glitter's like falling everywhere because this bag is just coated in seemingly endless glitter. Um, you pull out this fabric, you just kind of wrap it under your arm. You're still standing in the middle of a square outside a notice board. <laughs> so <laughs> where are you guys going? I mean, you um, do see across the square the wooden structure under the sign that's got shaped like wings, the without wings. You can see um, it's actually a wooden structure too, which is odd, right? Because the rest of the structures up here are very much made from just like cloud, 
like pretty much everything is but mm. this one looks like it's been imported in and built on top of cloud to make it look like a place where earthers would stay yeah so mm, yeah mm. very yeah built on purpose More solid you can yeah but you can see also that they've still made the roof out of like a, a woven cloud-like mist. Presumably roof materials don't withstand very well up here. So they've had to make the roof all normal. But the walls at least are wood. Yeah. I wonder if Bessie carried that up here. How, how <laughs> old does the structure look? Old? Yeah. I guess it's been here a while. Or at least the wood looks pretty weathered. So... Yeah. But it does look warm, you know, and familiar uh, compared to all of the very almost cold looking spaces that make up the rest of the town because, you know, they're just made of cloud. So slightly damp, slightly, you know, it, it's quite odd, the rest of the buildings here. Mm. Well, should we book a room and then start making a garment for the show? Yeah, now, are you going in costumed at all, or are you just going to brazenly walk in? Up to you guys. What's the plan? Uh, Dix is going to costume with our new costume cloak yeah. thing. Yeah, Which absolutely. I should add to my inventory. Yep. I did tell mm. you it's kind of a, a sort of a homebrewed based on like a cloak of elven kind situation. Yeah. If you put a cloak of elven kind on your sheet, I'll stat it up <laughs> <laughs> gotcha do I have advantage on stealth checks <laughs> well uh, pretty much when it comes to disguise yeah avoiding okay. detection as who you are rather than hiding yeah hey, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of hiding in the sky though because it sort of blends into cloud like fabrics quite well so while you're up here you're able to sort of hide <laughs> If I was in the sea, it'd be like, why is this cloud underwater? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's kind of a bit <laughs> The cotton candy's back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right also, before we leave the square and go towards places, canonically, Dexter has a painter's kit, or like painter's supplies. Cool. So you're able to grab yeah. one of the brushes and brush up some of the glitter that fell out of the bag. For yeah. perhaps future decorative use if we're putting together an outfit. Sure. Yep. You have like a little vial of nice. purple glitter. Fun. Damn, we should have gotten the green glitter too. Could have had all the glitters of the rainbow. Pull more things out of the bag, I guess. Purple. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Okay, so, uh, so your costuming is Tarrant putting on the the hat of disguise that makes things blue. But <laughs> yeah, so I can I can change my hair color from uh-huh. the green blue to um, I'm gonna go a like white blonde. Can mm-hmm. I lighten the skin tone to a different shade of blue, or is it yep. just the same? Okay, cool. It, it seems to be same. able to change color blue, but it just sticks on blue. It's like yep. you think about yellow, and it's just a light blue. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to lighten the skin tone, and we're going to go white blonde and cut the hair um, shorter. Cool. Yep. For the illusion. Yeah. So a little different. You know, yeah. like, you're rocking a bit of difference. I'm hoping to make it look a little bit more like the air elementals, instead of a lighter tone, rather than... The darker mm-hmm. of the ocean. Yeah. Uh, Granny trails in behind you and says, I'll just put my hood up and nobody looks at an old woman. So we'll be right. So true, Granny. Yeah, she just pulls her striped cloak hood right up so that you you know can barely see her face. I'm still unsold on whether or not we're, <laughs> we're announcing ourselves for the night before lodging in. But I'm also the kind of person that's very keen to do a, like, stay up all night and craft session anyway. <laughs> Well, enjoy a level of exhaustion. You, you do have, <laughs> Congratulations. You do still have your disguise kit um, if you wanted to yeah, quickly kind of out here sort of under Granny's cloak kind of disguise yourself to a certain way. You've got like hair dye and small props and stuff. You can put like a moustache on yourself and, you know, different cosmetics and stuff. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Make yourself look yeah, a bit I'll different. use my disguise kit. I'll also muddy up my hair so it looks a different colour. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, no. With some I'm pre-prepared stuff. Bardley Bradley. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just BB. I don't person. know what you're talking about. <laughs> BB no money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so you can change enough of the way that you look that 
a quick cursory glance at a poster, you wouldn't look too much like it. Um, if somebody looked too hard, maybe they might, but, you know, at the moment you're pretty pretty okay. Nice. So you can uh, walk into this tavern or this inn, the without wings, and as you enter, the space is cosy and rustic. It's filled with wooden tables and chairs, presumably, again, sourced from Earth. Um, the air is thick with the scent of spiced ale, grilled meats, and the faint aroma of familiar bread and pastries. As you know, like, Alwyn uh, supplies this place with her, with her baked goods, so. Um, mm-hmm. you can see lanterns hanging from the ceiling, and they sway gently. You notice it here more than you have elsewhere. They have been sort of slightly swayy, but in here, because of the way that the poles are and the beams and things, the shadows kind of move a bit more than elsewhere. And so you do actually notice now, oh, it's like that gentle motion of being on a boat, but you're in the sky. Mm. And because it's quite wide, you don't really notice it when you're just walking around. But when you sort of sit down, you notice it a bit more. Cool. Um, you can see behind the bar that the shelves are lined with like all sorts of bottles and brews and things. And behind the bar is a, the bartender. Uh, is a weathered figure with light blue skin and hair. Um, a faint, constant breeze kind of accompanies him. Uh, and uh, he is talking to people in a sort of... <laughs> like kind of a faint, sort of soft, <laughs> breathy voice. Oh no, he's oh, well. Nice. <laughs> um, and he has odd patterns in like a darker blue in his skin. Um, mm. So yeah, like that's kind of the the guy who seems to be working bar as you walk in. And with the cloak, Dixie looks a little bit more cloud like. I think mm. you're saying. <laughs> yeah, true. Like you do. Okay. You look a little bit more like you belong here. Yeah. Yeah, Dixie's gonna go like, hello. <laughs> that's like a <laughs> bit <laughs> for the night. <laughs> Okay, so you're just speaking common, but in a different voice. That's Could I can't like. comprehend languages? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, just to make things cut. slightly easier. It's yeah. the kind of so, dumb thing Dexter would do. I know, I love it. I love it. But I was just checking. Um, because I think you guys learned a couple of Oren phrases as you were coming up, but you don't use any of them. You just literally go, hello. <laughs> I think those were curse words. I think yeah. that was that That's was fair. That's fair. Um, so yeah, you walk sure. up and and the gentleman behind the bar uh, replies in Orin, which Dexter does not understand. But Bardley immediately <laughs> hears just a very familiar bar patter of "Hello, welcome. Um, what can I get you? You know, room for the night, beer for the brew, like what you know." And it sounds like that to mm-hmm. Bardley, but what you hear is. <laughs> it's like very soft breathy you know yeah yeah i say back which of course means <laughs> we would like board and food very much please thank you wait yeah does comprehend languages allow you to speak it i was gonna say not a rules lawyer yeah <laughs> oh, you're so valid yeah so you understand what he's saying but you can't necessarily reply immediately okay what's okay. the facial expression did Bardley insult his mother? <laughs> yeah, you just go... Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I like the idea that with Comprehend Languages on, what Bardley hears is um, nothing and then just incomprehensible noises. You know, like when subtitles <laughs> come up on <laughs> yes. a TV program? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's... Like, there's speaks, just a robotic speaks voice. Speaks cloud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, thanks, Spanish. helpful. <laughs> Doing their best. <laughs> Okay, well, can I can I try and um, point to the side? They have to be able to speak. This the, we went into the place where they're serving co- like Earthkins, right? Yeah, yeah. Like so, in, they probably in all speak the common so far that yeah. you, they've spoken common to you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Did yeah. move to not reply in common to hear in common. I just thought just I could speak there. the language. <laughs> I, 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 Jules, <laughs> JD made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was like, I, I can speak primordial is it partly primordial well I think we should just be able to speak back common and be like hello can we have room and board please I understand what you're saying but I can't speak it <laughs> that's yeah, what I'm yeah. so you say that back in common <laughs> yeah yeah and so he goes oh sorry yes sorry my apologies um you were a room yes absolutely uh, sorry my common's a little rusty and it actually sounds mm. 
pretty good to you like yeah and but he's but like definitely so... distinct from the bar patter of like in in their common tongue yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sorry a room of course yes you know like uh and starts kind of uh you know going behind the bar has a little pamphlet comes back with a key uh, and you see like there's some incomprehensible language on the top of it and then um common the word common written and then like mm-hmm. welcome to um the without wings and it seems to be like the common version of the welcome package or whatever um and it's got a whole lot of information about like check-in time check-out time like how many days how to apply like and there's a little like fold out where you can write in how many who you are how many people are staying how many days you know and so he goes if you could just fill that in that would be great i'll, I'll take your time I'll, I'll i'll bear on the house for checking in you know and and sort of like your know, gestures at a table for you to sit down and fill that in uh yeah Dix is gonna commit to the bit and go oh you speak very good common i'm practicing my own <laughs> no uh, how did you find learning of it no that's learning. so mean yeah and, and he just replies and he's like learning was hard only a few in the sky speak it so well that stay you know like I think the sky city something about the I arid mean, climate makes Dexter a bully yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting that yeah. This is a like, It's altitude. No, he, he, he's he's got an altitude like, and, adjustment. Yeah. He's like, are these your guests that you are welcoming here? Uh, Dick's just going to nod. Yeah. yeah. Tyrant just waves. And then, <laughs> and then he, with this one. <laughs> yeah, he turns to you and just sort of. Uh, says something, kind of laughs a little bit. Like, clearly in his facial expressions and everything, laughs a little bit, and then turns away to pour, like, the beers. Um, what, Bardley, what did he say? Like, you're like, <laughs> like, Bardley, were you listening to that? Like, that exchange with... Oh, yeah. 100%. 100,000%. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little um, eavesdropper. I drop yeah, all the yeah. eaves. So <laughs> the he, eaves. <laughs> he sort of says that, oh, Earthers, with their funny ways and their funny smells and their funny food that they like to eat, are they hilarious? You know, kind of like a little in-joke with, you know. So true, King. Yeah. yeah. Dix is going to laugh by the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not really, just... like, ins- you really don't get an insulty vibe, but just like, oh, yes, you and I know, don't we? You know, like <laughs> a little, like... Yeah. Right, like Dexter and Bardley make eye contact and Bardley's like, it's fine. <laughs> With the eyes yeah. like... <laughs> Tyron's probably just in the corner, just, yeah, panicking because she did wave and remembers that jaunty <laughs> said, don't wave. Yeah, yeah, so you're like... Just, yeah, just like awkwardly standing against the wall, just thinking pose, trying to see if there's any pamphlets for what to do around town like you find at hotels. Yeah, and there are, again, you see orange versions of the same pamphlet that there's a common pamphlet of like very like you should go see the museum the museum is a delight Re- like learn about our uh, the maker of the sky you know um mm-hmm. yeah like loads of different kind of invitations like eat the pastries of Ello and wooden whisks puff pastry patisserie <laughs> yeah they emphasize on the pamphlets <laughs> <laughs> they're bolded how many pamphlets are there <laughs> Um, well, so there's probably about ten different versions here. And, like, and multiple copies of each? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They seem to be, like, well stocked. Could be well a fun written. material to work with, and I bet they'd love just having all of their own tourism on the garment, all advertising. That's that's all I'm saying. Patriotic. <laughs> Patriotic, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Local infrastructure. Um, supporting local businesses. Community. yeah. yeah. For the community event, fucker for Naga Tanga. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we put the we put the girl that Dexter really likes. Her shop can go in the front because they're putting it on. That sounds like a good wait. <laughs> girl, I really like you. Laugh for the like like jokes. <laughs> and he's like, "That's the wrong sister." <laughs> <laughs> no wait, yeah, which uh, okay. sister? <laughs> <laughs> no, like the fancy one, like the one that helped us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. can you can come to the live stream to see scrolling pictures of both sisters uh, oh, displayed in the artwork. Look right now, 
Ooh, Sister, that, there's a oh, release, guys. Sky drape. Yeah, so, yeah, you could grab a whole bunch of these pamphlets and also use them with the chul. Like, that would totally potentially make That's... a cool outfit. Do we just yeah, sit I do around that. all forward? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so as, as who's filling out the oh, form about I was has just Granny been doing that this whole time or Well we have to we have to come up with fake names, right? Fuck a name aliases. Whatever. Fake name aliases. <laughs> Guy incognito. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are we each picking an alias <laughs> to put down as ourselves while we're here? I'll go first. Mm. I'm Dirk Danger. <laughs> Dirk. <laughs> Danger is by Dirk is my Got name it. and danger is my game. And I came up to the sky place to um, to experience the heights of uh, of thrills and to sky jump. Yeah. Okay, so Granny puts down adrenaline <laughs> on, on yeah, yeah, yeah. next yeah, yeah. to Dirk Danger. Because yeah. it's like got a little like reason for stay, you know, like reason right, for visit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> This might be too smart of a joke for Dexter to make, but can he write down cumulonimbus? <laughs> Cum- cumulonimbus, yes. Which I think is a type of cloud. Uh-huh. And, and re- what's your reason for stay? Um, showing around land dwelling people. Tour, tour guide. Tour guide, yeah. yeah. Taryn's going to um, tell Granny Shirley Temple, and I'm on a food tour. <laughs> I'm a foodie. I want the spiciest food I can find. <laughs> what are you sailing on the good ship lollipop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Granny just. At least we can call granny. her Shirley. <laughs> just don't call yeah. me late for dinner. Wow! 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 <laughs> just don't call me. I have anxiety. Please, please, just text. <laughs> just send an email. <laughs> Reason for visit. Millennial. <laughs> Learning bakery secrets <laughs> is what Granny mm. writes on the form because she <laughs> was pretty in love. Yeah, she was pretty in love with the puff patisserie. So um, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, okay, so she, yeah, film filled out. How many days did she put down that you were staying? How many are we allowed? Is is there a set number on there? Does it have it like often actually... on immigration forms? It says. Yeah, like it, it kind of has like a, a a general recommendation that three to five days is a good time to spend before you've like seen everything that the town has to offer is kind of what it suggests. Wait, how many days until you get deported? I thought it this was like a s- It doesn't tough thing. specifically say. I wonder if they just, just like take how many days that you've signed down for and then take you on that if you go over it. I think we should put five. Mm. I think we're five, five, fives across the board. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so you fill out five days. You fill out these details. Um, he says, uh, uh, welcome, Dirk. Welcome, Cumulo. Welcome, Shirley. Welcome, Granny. Uh, you know, w- w- lovely to have you. Only he doesn't say it like that. He goes, welcome. <laughs> 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 uh, like, Bartley, it's very strange for you because you can hear him just being like, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the, yeah, absolutely. Just upstairs to the right. Wait, that um, gets rid of the accent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, well, and he's then, saying it in one language and then the other, right? Yeah, yeah, and then uh, and the other and the other way you can just hear, go up the <laughs> stairs to the left. You know, like uh, honestly, yeah. I'm just impressed by the range. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. And so you get directed to your room up the stairs. It's a nice room, actually. It's got. It's not just you know four bunk beds like two on top of each other or anything this room is clearly set up for multiple people who don't necessarily want to see each other naked so it's actually got little partitions so each like bed has its own little section of the room so you can you know kind of pop behind a a privacy screen and you know have have your sleep um so there's four little sections and in the middle of this room is a sunken pit you know one of those ones where it's like the chairs all around the outside kind of mm. all in a circle and you step yeah. down into it yeah and a lounge pit sit. yeah like, like a 60s lounge pit. penthouse yeah 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 70s maybe a little bit 60s 70s yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i like it yeah yeah so that's kind of this the vibe of this room so it's actually kind of a a pretty sweet space to be hanging out in yeah the pretty vibes sweet. are immaculate yeah yeah good vibes is there yeah. a lava lamp i just feel like there is I mean, I'll make one. it wouldn't necessarily be lava, but you could probably find a jar that has, like, a piece of cloud that kind of seems to, like, evaporate to the top of the thing. And then, and then it rains little, out. Yeah, then it rains out, and then it kind of, you know, like, so you've got, like, little, yeah. And then I'll yeah. shape water just to give it, like, little, like, fun shapes as it goes up and down, <laughs> evaporating. Yeah. 
Oh, a but working yeah, ecosystem. Money. How cute. Put some Imagine glitter in it. Make it fancy. <laughs> yeah. I roll to pull out glitter. No. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. What if that's the one thing you can't find? <laughs> I know, right? I reach in and it's completely, like, glitterless, comes out. The moment you want it, it's gone. That would be very and fun. Just away. Away. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I would love to just craft, set up to craft an outfit, I guess. Yeah, but I, I think I'm, we can run this as a, like a little mini skills challenge where everybody can uh, roll a skill to work together to make this the best outfit that the Sky Kingdom has ever seen out of these pamphlets and this elephant ballerina tutu thing. <laughs> well, the, I, I assume, given the materials that we've gathered so far, my idea yes. was that we go for something that seems like culturally inspired by the area that is also to do with the like local uh businesses and infrastructure so i don't know what kind of garment says that <laughs> you can Togo. also add other things from your bags yes, and things yes. that might be available to you if you'd like to add that in yeah um, i think we should solidify a like a goal end goal for what we want it to look like and then yeah Start Do we want something floaty or something powerful, like a pantsuit, or like something Ooh. more casual? Ooh. Do you want business power, business floaty? I is think. There... No, you go, Severin. Uh, is there the logo of the bakery on the box of cupcakes? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and... uh, we probably have have their plant <laughs> foot as well. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yep. Oh man, you guys got cupcakes? I'm so hungry. <laughs> I feel um, like if we go very structured for the like outfit part, and then we could have it become more airy, come out. So we could like use a suit the... top, skirt flurry bottom. Oh, or yeah, a corset we could. Top. I was I liked what you said, pantsuit. Honestly, I was thinking like pantsuity brochures of all the places around made into a like suit thing but if it came out in a little cloudy at the bottom and then has like a like a shrug yeah (laughs) of cloud that was my thoughts like like power shoulders 80s 80s vibe shoulders yeah big puffy like that one pokemon (laughs) yeah (laughs) okay all right so wait i feel like severin has something to add there i saw his mouth um Yes, uh, Dex is going to hand Taran a cupcake. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Eat, have sugar, we, uh, we might need it. Jaundy has no food on the ship. <laughs> I've just been working tra- my ass off. <laughs> Sorry. That tracks. I maintain he doesn't eat. Put the cupcake down and like start picking at it. Mm. I think we have the chance to do a reveal. If we put all of the brochures together in like a cape, and then you just whoa, into yeah. an outfit, mm. ooh, that's going to go hard. Or, or we could do that with the with the, the fluffy, make the fluffy shrug actually more of a cape and make it big and f- loose and billowing and then reveal out into a, like, tight, snatched... Yes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> ...pantsuit <laughs> brochure. So it's, like, what's it on the surface? And then it looks like the, the actual city, right? Because it's the city cloud, and then what's what's all on the inside? We have a theme. We have a we message. Put the map. The map yeah. is the inside. So the map, that, the map that Jules is designing is it inside of our cape? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. The map is on the inside. It's white and billowy and cloudy on the outside. And then brochure suit with the tie is is the the place that um, Severin's lady love is at. Severin's yes. <laughs> Dexter's lady love is at. Just getting me in trouble with my Severin. girlfriend. Oh my god. If your girlfriend's there. Your girlfriend's there. It's the one part of the stream she tunes into is Severin's lady love. Lady love. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, I gotta go. <laughs> Star of the show. <laughs> no, Severin's a good boy. I meant Dexter. Thank <laughs> you. Um, nice. We got a we got a concept. I think Dexter's gonna to try to kind of sketch that out. I'd imagine painting supplies has like a, okay. a charcoal or yep. something. Monks monks do heaps of like writing books and stuff and copying out things. So you'd be great at that, I reckon. That's very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, for anything. Yeah. So you kind of. Just- yeah, you kind of sketch this out. I think what we're going to do is we'll make you roll a perception to draw okay. the vision. Mm, mm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going with. I love it. Uh, the dirtiest of filthy twenties. Wow. 
Nice. Nice. Okay. Amazing. Nice. That's a good start for the group. So as you're all looking at this, you know, outlined vision of what the outfit needs to be, you're all pretty clear Mm -hmm. on the direction that you need to make things. So now what comes next? Who's doing the next thing to make this vision a reality? I might start deconstructing the not elephant outfit um, and start sewing it together into a cape for it then because I have pretty high... I I reckon I could do sleight of hand here as well. Would make a lot of sense for sewing and and picking. Yep. You want to be subtle. You want to be gentle. (laughs) Same with picking a pocket. Too true. I got to make sure I don't poke myself with a pin. More importantly. 23. Nice. Yo. Okay, you guys are rolling high. Yeah. So you managed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you managed to uh, sew like, like unpick all of this twill uh, and uh, tulle, not twill. Very different fabrics. <laughs> um, yeah, soft, um, soft tulle. Un- That's this is twill. That's what this is. <laughs> yeah. Um, unpick all of that and kind of form it into something that looks like this beautiful kind of shruggy beginning of a cape situation it's all like cloudy and mm, i'm thinking like kind puffy. of mushroom top like like mm. fluffy and and cloud like at the top and then yeah. as it as it flows down it becomes more um straight yeah and then kind of out towards kind of the this- ends it fluffs again yeah. yeah, balanced on a on the back of a chair at the moment that you for like a coat rack that you've pulled out from the corner so that you can Mm-mm. kind of put it on and have a look at next to the picture and you're like, yeah, yeah, vision came to life on that. <laughs> and then everybody looks at Taran. Um <laughs> pantsuit next, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Am I am I cutting the pantsuit or decorating the pantsuit? <laughs> I guess I'm cutting making I making. guess you could be cutting it, yeah. I think it's like Cutting and gluing to some extent, maybe. Hot yeah. glue is your friend, I feel. I feel. I've got some stuff to decorate the pantsuit afterwards, but we need nice. the suit first. Yeah, okay. So what are we what are we thinking here? Because we've done sleight of hand, so we can't do that. Mm-hmm. We've done perception, so we can't do that. Can I inside it to know where to cut? <laughs> Can For I good inside eye. For fashion? paper pamphlets? <laughs> To Can figure I become, out where the best become the pamphlet? Where is the seam? <laughs> the okay. expressions of people on it. What yeah. what do they want you to do? Or, or, or an eye for fashion, right? <laughs> oh, I almost put a muscle habit of a stretch that was, but I love it. <laughs> do you know what we're you sending here? Apparently, you're <laughs> inciting the pamphlets. <laughs> yes. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I was also going like, to ask for a religion check because fashion is a religion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that also would be pretty valid, honestly. In this yeah. world, I think I think I think you have fashion sense. I mean, we fashion actually taste. don't have religion, but you know, yeah. as but, but a fashion sense. as you can, yeah. people definitely get a bit crazy and intense and, and, and very like strict rules following and follow it in groups and it's very cult like, you know. What? Um yeah. I'll roll a, a religion non religion check for fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven? Eleven. So as you get a bit excited about this, you know, and, like you feel that same kind of rush that hit you down by the ports when you saw that small child and she rushed up to you asking you if you were one of the people on the poster. Um, and you felt that intense kind of like the world is yours and you could do anything. Like reach out and touch the moon if for like for a second. That's how you felt. Mm-hmm. Um, just so intensely powerful. You get kind of a rush of that feeling again as you're looking at like this outfit and you're thinking about how many people get so excited about fashion and they really like raise up a person who does it well and everybody wants to be them or wear their thing or just you know like follow that so carefully like just so intently like they are the best and they cannot be you know like and you're kind of like sort of get caught up in that feeling as you're creating this garment and that feels sort of a little similar to that feeling that hit you before where somebody rushed up to you like you were the most important thing to them in the world you know like Aww. it's it's very you know um and then 
as you do that um, and you kind of like sort of get taken over by that feeling and you're like, yes, yes, I must check this pamphlet and I must do it exactly right. Otherwise, you know, it's all going to go wrong. Um, you get a little bit carried away and you snip in the wrong places. Um, and um, it's not terrible, but when you're looking at the suit, you're like, who's wearing this? Because there's definitely going to be like some things that like it's too. It's a deep wa- V. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's also too wide in the legs at the bottom and too tight at the top like how like thighs don't work like that you know like how is this you know like so you're a little like the cut's kind of very off um but it works enough you know yeah the cape kind of covers a bit of it and it'll be probably fine you know as you're looking at it i tried i'm not very good at arts and crafts y'all <laughs> you did your best and that's all i that did matters. yeah i can make it look pretty afterwards um, and you uh, uh, kind of go to make up for it, and Granny goes, "You know what? Just darling, give give, give that here." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Granny. And then it's, what's Granny gonna roll? <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll I'll fix this. Roll to uh, fix. She, yeah, and and she looks. She kind of hands on hips, gives this thing an eyeball, and she's like, "You know, they say that this type of event is survival of the fittest, right?" <laughs> and she like analyzes, and she's like, "I know what to do." Granny's yeah. going to track it down. Like, in the kingdom of the animals, you must declare yourself king, right? You know, you've got to really, like, announce it. Or you announce that you are, like, poisonous by the way that you display your colours. Um, and, like, as Granny's saying this, like, what did you hand Granny? Like, to, to make decorate. it look good? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, okay, I have a bag of ball bearings, but I live under the ocean. Mm-hmm. Can there be pearls that yes. Taran has 100%. no monetary yep. attachment to you have no idea that these have like Worth sought anything. after on the on the earth that yeah. you guys like watch as taran pulls out this because ball bearings like it's, it's like, like a bag a thousand of thousand of right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you pull out this bag of like a thousand pearls and everybody just looks at you like holy crap it's uh, shiny. Granny, Look, we'll just... <laughs> granny's in the mo and the like she's not distracted she sees this and she's like yes you know, and then just like starts sticking these everywhere. Um, you had those the whole time. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, is this like, worth anything? Like, it's just there's so many down in the ocean. We could have bought four of these cloaks if that gives you any idea. <laughs> oh. oh, I wasn't I... there, but I didn't know. <laughs> I know now. Ah, uh, that's terrible. I eat one. Um... You eat one. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I knew it would be funny. I it would be funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Granny's inspiration for Granny. <laughs> hey, hey, because that was that was a really bad roll, but Granny has inspiration, so I'm using it. Sorry, <laughs> you can also assist by handing over the. <laughs> yeah, I could bardically oh. inspire her again. It'll be fine. Yeah, and that gives you guys, I believe, that was a. I I lost it. Uh, there, twenty six. No, Not shabby. Uh, no, Dexter could have also done guidance. Where was that when I was cutting this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Dexter was distracted. Yeah. He was thinking about Skills the issue. girl from the shop. Uh, get good. <laughs> and as you stand back, all four of you kind of cr- do that moment where you're looking at this thing hanging off the coat rack, crossing your arms, admiring your mm. handiwork, mm. Um, mm. and then asking mm. each other, wait, who is wearing this? That's the end <laughs> of, the of the episode. episode. <laughs> I guess next time when we come back, we'll find out who is going to be our fashion model wearing mm. this uh, beautiful outfit into Damn. the cover girl. Yep, the Sky Kingdom Fashion Challenge tribute to Ariseth. Uh, yeah. How ex. Exciting. Thank you so much for joining us on our very creative uh, costume making <laughs> uh, adventure today. We hope to see you again. Um, if you are listening to this podcast on the podcast app of your choice, maybe come along to the live stream uh, to catch the action directly as it happens. We stream every second Wednesday at 7.30 NZTT, uh, mostly kind of more like quarter two. Um, and we <laughs> would love to see you there. Uh, no particular eyes and news to plug currently, but we are in the works for a few things. And uh, just in general, if you'd like to be DM'd by the DM of Eisen, uh, you can do that by coming along to Balin's Brewery with B 
D and D in the next few months. Uh, we're doing Halloween specials and then Christmas specials, so don't miss that. All right, that's generic eyes and news. We'll get to other gigs that we have coming up soon. Many amazing people are involved with the production of this podcast, and I am incredibly grateful for their hard work and dedication every single episode. I want to give a big shout out to my partner in crime, Brad Zimmerman, editor of the polished episodes you hear and responsible for the design of World of Eisen and book one. There's a cat. There's another cat on the screen. It's very exciting. So um, many thanks cats. to. Amy Ward Art, a glitteriest moderator, keeping our live streams chat a wholesome and hilarious place to be. And I do want to give you a big shout out, Amy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I know last time you weren't feeling very well, and I know this time you're still not completely well, but you're still here. And and we just really want to give you a big shout out and so much love for um, the support that you have for us. So it's it's kind of awesome we are proud members of kiwi rpg and we encourage you to visit the website to find other kiwi creators that you need to know about of course this podcast i haven't slowed down at all because um i've realized again i forgot to check if some people changed their names um because i feel like some of you did when you told me to change it right (laughs) at the party just before I'm I'm totally not being slow because I'm checking for it. God damn it, where is it kept? Um, membership. There it is. I remember. <laughs> I can do this. Maybe. No, I can't. <laughs> Just look at the cute cat in the interim. God damn it, where is it? Where is it? Audience, maybe. Here it is. Okay. I do remember. Um Okay, there is a few name changes. Right, so thank you to our Patreon supporters. Alex White Robinson, Irene Coochie, Laura Christine Goodwin, Sam K, Victoria and Gavin Porter, Daniel Nichols, Squished, Malcolm Crow is dead for most of the sixth sense, Alexander Lickheads, Andrew, I don't think you could write a book in here, but maybe an epic poem or a saga of some sort. Evans, Chaos the Fox, Ezekiel, Tara Borelli. Um, Ezekiel just got a New Zealand work visa and we're really excited for him. So congratulations. That's really hey. cool. Much hope. <laughs> April, we're very excited to host you. Gamatron, Christian Holswood, Disturbed One Unzed says, call your parents before Severin can say it. And also the real life <laughs> win of the forgotten says, remember you the son forgotten. of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Lyndon Hood, thank you, Fate of Eisen crew. Each new episode is the highlight of my fortnight. Also, Peter Gertrude Chalk still smells. Um, Erica Jane, Penny D Boys, Aaron Gilgren, Moji, Toji Barkhide, Danny L the Tea Lady, Lady of the Tea, Liz from Time to Die and D&D Podcast. Oh, that was worth looking it up, wasn't it? Wasn't yes. it? Yes, 100%. it was. Um, and you too can be a fatty for as little as $2 a month. Join the exclusive Discord, become one of the fans I now consider friends, and be invited to parties at my house that are totally not D&D themed, but here put on this blindfold with consent and draw an adventurer. No, don't ask me any more questions about it. I'm sure it won't come up later. I'm <laughs> Just don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> don't worry about it it's fine um it was a really good, good time um before i go i just wanted to remind you um, that if you have a hankering for more dice in your life head over to our partners fanrolldice.com and use the promo code fedevisen you can get 10 percent off your entire order with a little lead dice discount from us um all right we are going to get out of here um we love you so so much um and thank you so much for joining us on another crazy adventure episode we hope to see you again soon so in nohora ka kite ano aroha nui goodbye see you again soon and love you lots goodbye call disturbed one in zed now (laughs) you see what you've done i have to move it to someone and now it's you find his number and then call him (laughs) <laughs> Do- dox your friends and patrons. And then, and then tell them about your parents. <laughs> yeah, Tom Ailey. Whew, dox your friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Tom did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs>